so uh, if you've been listening to the ramble so far, you know that I've been playing music from the from the Moon soundtrack, Moon, the PlayStation One game, not the movie. Um, the reason I'm doing that, teachers out for family reasons, so until Wednesday, but you still have to go Tuesday. Ah, uh, well, it's still good. At least you get tomorrow off. Something doesn't look right about me on the man camera, but whatever. The reason I'm playing music from the game Moon is because last week I got Moon Premium Edition for Nintendo Switch. Uh, the, do I really need the the, the like thing here? It doesn't feel like this is focusing. This isn't a big one, but I figured out, I already opened this fully. But I figured uh, I figured I'd do an unboxing of it anyway. There's actually another thing I want to unbox. This was not the thing, the third thing that I mentioned when I did the Night in the Woods unboxing. I have been wanting this game for a while, and I was like, well, I don't want to pay the full price for the eShop download. And then I saw the premium edition had like it wasn't cheap, it was full price, but I was like, oh, there's a premium edition for this. That looks cool. Looks very, very nice and high quality, so I'll get that. I have not played this game. I have played the first 15 minutes of the game. That's it. And then I stopped. I don't know if I'll stream it because it's. I've been told it's not a very good stream game. It's kind of hard to, like, play it for the first time. But uh, I, I will experience it at some point, as they say. You need to experience Moon. And I've heard it's. Uh, I've heard it's very good. The long ass text part. Yep, I even screenshotted it because I wanted to see what the text said. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this because this is a really nice, um, really nice set. So it comes in a, a cardboard box, as you'd expect. Uh, first and foremost, it comes with the physical copy of the game, which, again, this is this was only released in Japan, but it doesn't contain the English version on it. If you have your Switch set to English, so it will work region free. Um, got the background. I'm I'm assuming that's a recreation of what the background looks like on the PlayStation One box. I recognize the word uh, "love" at the top, Rabu. There's the character right there, invisible, with clothes on. Uh, we get little the little character montage on the inside, which is nice. Most Switch games don't have art on the inside, so it's cool to see that. Followed by uh, an, a very interesting card art. Just kind of the same symbols from the box, but like on a white background. Why is this camera having so much trouble focusing? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Uh, this little slot also has some, something else that I missed when I originally opened it. Uh, a very small, um, a very small little pamphlet that kind of tells you the basic controls of the game. So it has like so, a, sort of a mini uh, instruction booklet. Speaking of Mario RPG remake, apparently in Japan you could buy an instruction booklet with it. Like, you can actually get, like, an old-style recreation of the instruction booklet. I really wish they would just do that here, too. And there's some questions on the back in Japanese, so obviously I can't read them. <laughs> and that brings us to the front part. Uh, theater Guide and Imaginary Moonscape. So this is, like, a nice, like, it's, it's, it's like a letter. Um... It very specifically says on the back here, I can kind of read this about clearing the game, so there's spoilers in here. Um, I will try my best not to make them focus on it. But it's essentially, it's a selection of four just like art, really nice looking art, art cards. Uh, here's one scene, here's another. I'm gonna try not to focus too hard on them so you're not spoiled. I actually, I have no clue what's happening in these. But they're really nice, they're glossy, the back has a description in Japanese. No idea what it says. But it is a very fancy, like, little art print thing in a very nice little package. And we're, we're almost done, by the way. You might be wondering, like, why am I unboxing this if I've already seen it, and if, if it's there's not a ton in here? Because I just want to. I, I've had, I have several unboxings here now, so I might as well just go all in with it. There is... I don't want to pull this one out until the end, but there is one other thing. You know what, let's just put that in for now. Here we have a... It's it's wrapped, but not really. Like, this just peels off. I actually opened it before. 
a sound sele uh, soundtrack selection, it is only six songs. I do not know which six songs they are. I do not know what meanings they have, but you have the picture of the grandmother and the boy on the front. That looks like... You know what that looks like? That looks like Terminal Montage's Kerbo. Like when he draws Kirby. Leo! That's what the kid's smile looks like. It's also pretty, yeah. This has the dog and the grandma's uh, sprites on it. The Child of Happiness is what it says on the inside. Also, it's supposed to be, yeah, I was going to say, there's another little sleeve for this disc in there. It came out. Hey, you know what happens? Oh, okay. I don't. Don't spoil it for me. <laughs> Please do not spoil Moon, a remix RPG. And that just leaves one more item. Uh, so this also that can't uh, that included with this, and this is why this box is so big, is the Moon Note Backstage 97. And quite simply, this is an art book, uh, and a really nice one too. Like it's got, I, I'm assuming this, this is saying like clear the game. There's spoilers in here, but it is, it is a very nice glossy art book. You could see like the graph paper sketches if the camera would like to focus in on them. Thank you. You can see like the graph paper sketches they did. It's split into character sections. You got sketches, character character art. It's really cool. More detailed stuff. Uh, they actually have like full like design production note pages. Of course, they're in Japanese only. But like, if you could read that, that's cool. You get like a little insight into how the game was made. Um, I think one of the most interesting things I saw, and I don't know where it was, and I didn't really flip through this yet. Yeah, they actually have some pages of like their design of like their their like programming documents like you get really cause cause dot w a p in the corner that like see you can actually look see like what they wrote down for programming stuff and it's really good it's nice it's a very high quality glossy book and that's uh that's moon <laughs> that's moon special edition if you are on the fence about getting the game special edition you just saw everything that was in it and uh if a six sound six song cd an art book some art prints and a, and a nice physical copy of the game is worth what you'll find it online for to you, then go right ahead. Again, I cannot, I can't, unlike the rest of my unboxings, I cannot judge the game here because I actually just haven't played it yet. But I've been told it's good, so I hope that, you know, that, that might help inform your decision. <laughs> and that's, that's really all there is to say about, about it. <laughs> when I eventually play Moon, I will probably, I will probably give more thoughts. Here. Why is this fully slipping in? I hate how these boxes like never want to slip in correctly. Okay, wait. Did I miss anything? No. It's got a nice... I hate to say this, it's got a nice smell to it. When I import stuff from Japan, it always has that, like... J Japanese paper products always have that specific scent to them. And they're oh, it's always really nice. Makes me uh, nostalgic for when I import it, or when I got uh, Project Diva second for the uh, PSP back in the day. My, I actually asked a family member to buy it, to import it for me, and they did for Christmas. Yeah, that's Moon, or at least what you could see of it. Again, the camera, why Why is it... I don't know why my camera's doing that. But yeah, that's that's Moon. I hope, uh, I hope that uh, this may help inform your decision of buying the Premium Edition. And if not, then I hope you just enjoyed listening to my voice, because people say my voice is good. I don't know if it is or not. And you can see my leg, too. That's, that's something. Right here and right here. Yeah. I mean, the music's good. You've been listening to it this whole time. <laughs> Alright, uh, I have to stop this recording so we can move on here. But yeah, that's Moon. I just, I'm, I'm happy I got to do an unboxing of it. It makes me happy. <laughs>